how to increase your visitor attention time in Google Analytics. Welcome back. You're watching Ashley in Amsterdam. Today, I'm back again with Google Analytics. Now, I think this is our second episode on me helping you improve your website using Google Analytics. Today, we are going to talk about session time. For most of you who don't know what session time is, the session time is the duration of how long your visitors stay on your website. So if you haven't realized that session time plays a role on your website, you should try to take it into consideration and you should try to monitor your session time because the longer people stay on your website, the longer it signals to Google that the content you have to offer has value and you have authority in that area. I come to your website and I spend five seconds and I bounce off and I go off. What does that mean to Google? It means that your website doesn't have what I am looking for. But if I come to your website and spend long on it, that means that what you're offering is really, really good, that I'm willing to spend more time on your website. Session time also helps with bounce rates because both of these two work in hand in hand. If your website has a high bounce rate, and that means that your session time is also very low. But imagine that your session time is high. That means that people are staying long on your website and then their bounce rate is also reduced. So it's very important for you to improve your session time. So what can you do? On your website to improve your session time you cannot do so many things in Google Analytics to improve your session time but just link your website to Google Analytics if you haven't yet uh, uh, made a Google Analytics account please go make it there'll be a video link over here on how to set up your Google Analytics account and then you can link your account to Google and then you can monitor your session time what does it mean for you as a business owner or a website uh, yeah, developer, whatever you are, it means that you, if you set up your uh, Google Analytics, you can monitor your session time, how long people are spending on your website. So I have a case study uh, recently and we had a session time of, I think, a minute and our bounce rate wasn't so high. But uh, all of a sudden, we launched a new product and we did a few things to our website, which I'm going to tell you what we did to improve our session time. If you want to know what product we launched, go into the description link below. There will be links to my products that we launched or watch the video over here on the products we launched. And you see that our session time improved because we gave people something they wanted and people something they were looking for. So our session time increased by 100%, which is rare for this kind of product we're offering because it's a very niche product. That's why I always say to people, niche down, don't be of everywhere because if you're everywhere, people will keep on comparing and they'll keep on bouncing off your website, keep on looking for other cheap alternatives. So if you're very niche down, people will stay long on your website. But there are also other things you can do to improve your session time just that you know uh, depending on uh, keywords that will retain people looking for information because if I get what I want in one second I'll leave your website within that second or 30 seconds you know I won't stay longer so what you can do to your website to improve your session time is improve your content make readable content put in link buttons that are linking to internal links you know link your website so that when someone clicks on a button they can go to a next page to your website to view something you know you just give them a better customer journey improve that customer journey by putting in more internal links that are linking to your website and people who's jumping from this product or if you're pointing them uh if you want more you know you write an article and you say yeah if you want more learn more and then they'll click you just give them a teaser 
and then they'll want to you know get more and then they'll click and then when they click there they'll they'll go to a different page and that's more time you know the longer they click and the more they are spending time on your website that improves your uh, session time and the other thing that you should also uh, understand is it's improving your session time is you need good content because if you're offering bad content and recycled content does not improve your session time because if people are reading something they have seen somewhere before they are not surprised so they'll just be like i've seen this before and they'll click off so please avoid duplicating content avoid copying other websites avoid going to other people's websites and copying all their content and using it because if you can't write original content then that means you're what you know you 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 can't do anything you know and if you learn how to write original copy that's when you realize that scoping other people duplicating content is not good you think you're doing everything uh, fast and, uh, and everything will be all right you're wasting a lot of time because in the long run you're not going to rank like you think and the session time will really drop because yeah this content has already been somewhere so you recycle indeed and you know committing plagiarism is not really ethical uh, apart from being ethical it's yeah, maybe google won't punish you for that but it's kind of sketchy for your clients you know because yeah copying is not one of the things you want to be known for as a web developer or as a business owner because business owner do this and uh, web developers also do this so make sure your content is original if you lack ideas on how to do it or write original content hire someone to do it for you and it's better than copying believe me yeah because it will help your site rank because the more original your content is the more fresh it is the better for you the better to rank so let's get back to session time yeah what else can you do content put images on your web page that will leave people wondering and you know people keep on watching add videos so that people watch videos increase the session time with videos and entertainment you know put videos there to describe what you're doing or whatever the process is that increases session time you know just keep them there by giving them more of what you think they're looking for and uh, when someone comes to your website looking for a silk scarf and you're talking about yeah, uh, <laughs> a silk legging. Uh, I'm very sure that they'll drop off that uh, that page. So if you're writing about a silk scarf on that page, make sure you're giving them more information, linking to other forms of media around that same keyword they came looking for on your website. So how else do you improve your session time apart from using visual medias? session time can also be increased by uh, pop-ups if you add pop-ups of your on your website if you add pop-ups on your website it also increases session time because people have to click those pop-ups off and that you know gives them like a few seconds to improve their session time on your website or you can you know add but you don't put the pop-ups at the beginning of the website immediately when they open no the pop-up should be maybe i think after 20 seconds on your website and then it should pop up you know and then they have to try to click it off and maybe try to put their email addresses and the pop-up should be offering something they can use you know or you'll be requesting them their email for giving them something in return that you think they might want and that is a way of getting them in getting their details although you might have installed tracking codes on your website these tracking codes may also already have captured their details but if someone willingly gives you their contact information that's really good so you can retarget them by email marketing if people are giving you their emails uh, just willingly then that's an invitation of you sending them communication on email and that's a good thing so because they will they will be expecting these emails because they gave you their emails willingly or they're subscribed to your newsletter willingly if you send them the newsletter they won't be like huh you know and they won't think it's spam so they will read it um, because they they were interested in it i think those were our tips on how you increase your session time and most of you who are saying yeah google analytics yeah you'll be able to find your session time 
under behavior. If you click on behavior, you see the average time on page people are spending on your website and you also see the exit percentage. So that is behavior by page, but then you also see your overall site. When you go under the tab accusation and you go under on all over overview of audience accusation, what you see is behavior by accusation. So there are three tabs. There is one called bounce rate, which is connected to session type that I've been talking about. And there is also average session duration. So the average session duration is what we are talking about. So if you can improve this and make people stay long on your website, this is a plus point, but you can see it under there. So I will link it here and you can also see the goals that have been made and also the session source, maybe session traffic that is calling. I feel like if you improve your session time, your website will be better and it will be giving your web visitors a better customer journey that will improve to your sales or leads or acquiring leads or ch 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 turning those clients into potential prospects if you're new here my name is ashiro consider subscribing and like this video comment because it helps me grow this channel and if you're a channel subscriber Thanks for the support, one, two, three, and go!